Hey everyone, welcome to my morning and nighttime skincare routine. I don't think I've ever shared this on my channel, so I thought that today would be a good day. I've got my coffee and just getting ready um, to work today. So I'm just gonna hop into it and um, just kind of explain the products as I go so I don't ramble on in the beginning. But first, I need to sip my coffee. Oh, that's hot. Also, I apologize for like really poor video lighting in here, but you just gotta work with it. So I, I just took a shower and I normally wash my face in the shower, but um, I didn't just for the sake of the video. So I'm just gonna take warm water. And I'm gonna use the CeraVe, CeraVe, I don't know how you say it, hydrating facial cleanser. My skin feels so like dry and tight every single time I get it wet. So normally like right after the shower, if I don't immediately put moisturizer on, my skin just feels so uncomfortably tight. And people would always say like, your skin's not supposed to feel like that. Like you should feel like hydrated and not like craving moisture the second you get out of the shower or the second you dry off your face after washing it. And I have been watching um, just a bunch of like skincare videos and, and people just saying that like CeraVe, Whatever. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say CeraVe if it's CeraVe, I'm sorry. CeraVe is like the hype right now. Sorry, I feel like I can do this one, I got. So I had heard so much hype about CeraVe and just how great it is for your skin. And I'm normally that person that like spends so much money on face washes, on moisturizers, all this stuff. Um, honestly, probably just, <gasps> is that a spider? Oh, no, it's a buzz. So I thought, why spend so much money on face washes and moisturizers if there may be one that's from the drugstore that's just as good or maybe even better. So anyways, I started using that. Oh my gosh, like it's a game changer. That is gold. <laughs> that face wash is so good. My skin feels so hydrated. Everything that I've started to use has like changed my skin game. I feel like I should have said that way earlier in the video. So the next, of course, it's a CeraVe um, moisturizer. Again, I spent so much money on moisturizer and decided to just try this one out. So they have a few. This is the this one has SPF in it. It's skin renewing day cream, um, encapsulated retinol. I don't know. It's like more. It's a little more expensive than their just basic moisturizer. Um, here, I'll show that up close. I still wear sunscreen over this, so I don't like use this as my sunscreen. I don't know why I picked this one over just like the basic um, moisturizer. I think it just. <laughs> I think it looked like a little fancier. So I just put this all over my face and it just feels so good. And then I'm just gonna put like two other pumps down my neck because it's good to moisturize your neck, but also my neck is like crazy dry right now and I don't know why, <laughs> it's so weird. And I keep trying to rem remind myself to like go up on my neck because I guess wrinkles. <laughs> So the next product I'm gonna put on is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This is just like an under eye cream. So not everything I have is CeraVe and from the drugstore. <laughs> I'm not like an advocate for like don't buy nice products at all. But as for like the face wash and the moisturizer, those are winners for me. So I put the treatment on my three fingers and then I just tap, tap, tap all under my eye for most of the product and then I go um, on top of my eye or on top of it, or I guess on my eyelid and just kind of around. Now I just kind of bring it down like around my nose and then I like hit my lips with it, whatever like excess is on my hands. This stuff, it feels so good and it's so um, like glisteny under your eye. It just makes your under eye look like so healthy and hydrated. I love it. Oh, I didn't share this because I, I didn't use it, but I wanted to share it with you guys. This is the um, Ole Henriksen Transforming Walnut Scrub, and I love this. This is honestly probably like my seventh bottle, no joke, just over the years using it. Oh, did I show you up close enough? It never focuses, so there's no point of doing that. So this is another reason why I love this face washes. I would normally use this probably like every three days. I would have to like force myself to not use it every other day. My pores just get like so clogged on my nose that like it felt bumpy and I just like wanted to smooth it out. Where ever since using the products I have been using, my pores aren't getting as clogged and um, I don't feel the need to like scrub all the time, which is like crazy because <laughs> I used to always like want to scrub my face, but it is amazing. That's like my favorite face scrub. So I highly, highly recommend it. It's like so good. So now I'm gonna put on sunscreen and this is the Drunk Elephant um, Umbra Sheer Physical Defense Protection, whatever. It's just their sunscreen in um, 
SPF 30. I think, I don't think they have different SPFs. I think it's all the same. I literally just went on in the beginning of the video saying like, why am I spending money on expensive stuff when everything else I have is like not cheap and from the drugstore, but I think you get what I was saying. So I'm just gonna put that all over my face. There's one thing to take from this video. It's wear sunscreen every single day. No matter what you're doing, even if you're just staying at home, if it's overcast outside, wear sunscreen every single day. It's literally the best thing that you can do for your skin. And when you're older, you are gonna thank your young self for protecting your skin because it's just preventative care. I feel like so many young people now don't wear sunscreen because you're not really seeing like the results of needing to wear sunscreen. But like I said, when you're older, you're gonna be like, oh, that's why I wear sunscreen, you know? Also a tip that I didn't say earlier, was that after I wash my face, when I dry it, I just blot it with the towel. Um, so I don't like rub my face with it or anything. I just literally blot it. Again, it's just better for your skin so you're not tugging on it um, and you're just being really gentle with your skin. Okay, so my last like weird thing I do is I just take a little piece of t um, toilet paper and I just like go over my eyebrows with it because I don't like when like the sunscreen gets, st gets stuck in my eyebrows. I don't know why, I'm just kind of weird like that. Then last thing that I do, I'm gonna take you out here for it. Oh, don't spill my coffee. I don't do this every single morning, but I like to do it often, is I take this um, ice roller, I keep it in the freezer. Um, I got off Amazon, it's super cheap, and I'm gonna link it below because it's amazing. I just go over my whole face with it, and it's absolutely freezing and uncomfortable at first, then it feels so good. The main thing I use it for is just depuffing. I'm sure it also helps with like, I don't know, like lymphatic drainage is what I hear about, and like skin tightening and all this stuff, and like, honestly, I don't I don't know if it does that. I'm sure it does, but I just use it for depuffing. Sorry, this down lighting is like, so horrific. There we go. So once I'm done with that, I just um, rinse it off in the sink and then I stick it back in the freezer so that it's clean um, the next time I use it. Anyways, that is my morning time and I will catch you in the evening and show you what I do at night. Okay, so it is now the evening. I'm very tired. <laughs> Put my hair up real cute. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my makeup. I just started using this a few weeks ago and I actually really like it. It's just the Garnier Micellar um, Cleansing Water. And I always use two um, cotton swabs or whatever, cotton pads. So I get one wet and then I remove like a majority of my makeup with one. So then I get one more cotton pad wet with the cleansing water and I just pretty much go over my whole face one more time to make sure I've really got all of that makeup off. And I'm gonna wash with the same um, CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser as I did in the morning. Okay, <laughs> my gosh, my bun is insane. I look like I'm from Whoville or something. Something that I do different at nighttime that I don't do in the morning is I double cleanse. So I literally just do the same exact face wash um, but just can't cleanse twice because I feel like this really helps with making sure you're getting all of the dirt off your face and makeup. And then I try to make sure I rinse my face super, super well so that there's not any leftover face wash or residue or anything. So like I said in the first video, I literally just pat my face. I don't rub it because I don't want to tug on my skin and be aggressive with it. So I just pat it dry with my <laughs> ginormous towel. So then the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, this Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. I really love this stuff. It helps with um, brightening up the skin. I use two pumps and I go on my entire face with it. Everyone always says to like pat in your serums instead of rubbing them in. I honestly don't really know why. I don't know the difference. If you know why, please comment below why because I don't know why. I just do it because that's what they say to do. So I'm going to use the Kiehl's um, eye treatment again. I'm gonna put moisturizer on after this and I don't really know if you're like supposed to put moisturizer on before or after your eye treatment, um, but I don't really think it matters too much. 
along with the morning CeraVe moisturizer, I got the evening one. And this is just CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. So I'm also actually going to add to this my face tanner. I don't do this every single night. I just feel like my face is a little bit lighter than my skin right now. So I'm just going to add a few drops of this Isle of Paradise um, tanning drops. There's a giant hair on this thing. And I use the shade dark. So typically like if I feel like my skin is like really light compared to my body, I'll use about like, I use like seven drops or something. Tonight I think I'm just going to use like four or something. One, two, three, four. And there's still a massive hair on that. <laughs> so then I just rub it in with my moisturizer. And when you're using this product, you have to remember <laughs> that there's tanner in it. So you wanna make sure that you're really blending it in everywhere on your face. So this like includes my eye area. I put it on my eyes, which actually now I'm thinking I probably should use my treatment after. Well, I make sure I go all the way near my ears not like in my hair, but all the way up to my hairline. Make sure you wash your hands. The next thing I do, which is just like <laughs> in the morning with sunscreen, is I take a little piece of toilet paper and I go over my eyebrows. This is because um, I noticed when I first started using the tanning drops, the tanner that was like under my eyebrows got super dark. So I have one um, last step, but I wanted to tell you about another product that I use sometimes. It's the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This stuff smells so good. It feels so good on your skin. But honestly, don't really know if it does anything. And I've kind of come to the realization that I think I've been spending a lot of money on a product that I don't really think does a lot to my skin other than just makes it feel good. So, I mean, it's not hurting my skin and it feels good, it smells good. So I'll use this like once in a while and I think it actually adds a little bit more hydration. Maybe if like my skin's dry or something, I'll use this or if I'm feeling extra. My last product I've been using is the Rodin and Fields um, Lash Boost. So this has like, completely changed my eyelashes. It just works so well. My natural eyelashes, I feel like are so short and so thin and so light. I started using this probably like April, I wanna say, maybe February, I don't know. And my eyelashes have grown so much. Like it's actually unbelievable how much they've grown and they've gotten so much darker. I think you can use this on like your eyebrows if you want, this is a game changer. It's so good. It's a little pricey, but super worth it. Okay, so then I guess the very, very last step that I do in the evening is I just put chapstick on, but that's at my bedside table. Oh my gosh, look at this water. Actually, this is pretty good. Normally, I have water like completely down my shirt. Anyways, that is it for my morning and evening skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.